Welcome back to Southwest Yard and Garden. I'm Curtis Smith. We're looking at some interesting plants that Joe Holdridge grows on the east side of his house. Joe, what are you growing here? Curtis, this is, uh, this is about a five-year project that I've had. I, I've started growing herbs in, in, in containers. Uh, That's interesting. Herbs are so invasive that I've decided that uh, it, 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 it's very good to grow them in these containers and they don't take and over your whole yard. You've got a few of these that would take over if they had a chance, too. So, Let's go through the ones that I that have stood up through the winter. Okay. What I do is I, I I keep some of them through the winter, and the ones that that do survive, then I in the in the spring I put in my basil and some mm -hmm. and some savory and some of the others that don't survive the winter. This one right here is just a plain old sage. Just yeah, that's good for cooking. Good for cooking. Most of us think of sage as the is the herb that we use in our. Thanksgiving dressing. Right. Turkey and dressing with sage, sage dressing. But it's good with poultry but, and fish. So there's a lot of uses. There's a lot of uses for sage. Sage is a very, is, and it's a very hardy plant. It's, well, a very, it's better if it's fresh, too. And it's better if it's fresh. Uh, cooks are starting, the chefs are starting to use fresh, fresh herbs a lot more than That's the dried good. herbs. And uh, there is some advantage. This right here is, a, is parsley. And parsley is, a very, is another thing that that cooks use all the time. Mm -hmm. We what most of us are familiar with the not familiar with the Italian parsley, but with the curly leaf parsley, which is the decorative parsley. And this one's the Italian. And this is the Italian. It's supposed to be the most flavorful of the parsleys. Okay. This one is just coming out from its winter in this and, 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 and this is tarragon. This is French tarragon. One that smells like licorice. One that smells like licorice. A lot of people use it to make their tarragon vinegars. Mm -hmm. and, and but tarragon is a, is used in lots of other things besides vinegars. Mm -hmm. This one is is everybody's favorite. This is a rosemary. This is an arp, upright rosemary. It's a, it's another very hardy herb. Well, you've got them out of order. You've got parsley. Sage, rosemary, and uh, you've got some time too, so we'll get to that in a minute. We'll but get to time in a minute. That's the rosemary. That's right. Uh, a lot of the landscapers are using rosemary as a, in, in, the, in their zero escape gardens. Oh, I can smell it now, just from you, right? Just from all just the way from over the shake, here. You can smell the. You can smell it. Mm. This is this is this is the time that you're talking about. There we go. And it's uh, it's it's also coming out from a from a winter, but it's it's greening up and it's going to be it'll it's 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 a nice it's a nice flavorful time. Mm -hmm. You skipped somebody here. I, I skipped somebody. We'll come back to uh, we'll come back to this pot. Okay. This is this is uh, the one that we use on our pizza. You you know it's it's oregano. It's Greek oregano. There's Greek, there's okay. there's Mexican oregano, Greek oregano, all yeah. sorts of oreganos. This is one of those that better be in a container. This it'll, is one that better be in a container. It'll take off. I have it coming up from seed, coming up from roots. It spreads all over the place. But it's good. It's, it smells good. It's good and it's very flavorful and it's 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 very useful. This one's the one that, that a lot you can you, you, that does better if you cut it back. And so the, the more you cut it back, the better it'll do. This is just regular chives. There's mm -hmm. garlic chives. There's all sorts of different chives. But a, a baked potato without chives and Sour cream is. This is that mild onion flavor we can put in our baked potatoes. <laughs> the most invasive herb that I grow is is a, is a mint, and the, and this and it's just coming up in just this pot. It. But it's it's this is spearmint. Ah. There's chocolate mint and peppermint and, and lemon mint. Lemon mint. Oh, there's a lot of those. So the mint family is is very very large. The one the pot that we missed here is my is my horse is, is some plants of horseradish. I think I'd skip that too. It's <laughs> hot stuff. But uh, we 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 grind our own horseradish and put it with our with, with sour cream and put it on our corned beef and on our prime rib. These three little pots here are in training to be sold at the annual spring fair at the Council of Garden Clubs. And that's April the 28th. So they're growing to be somebody will want to start a horseradish. And they need to be aware this is one that will spread. But if you like horseradish, the best way to get it is to grow your own. That's correct. It takes about two years for the roots to get to get large enough so that you can grind them. And, and you said you started these from a root you dug. You you made your horseradish out of it. And then this was the this was the eyes. Just little pieces left over. Just like a sweet, just like a potato. Mm -hmm. Put it back in there. Okay, so we're looking at a lot of herbs here. You're growing them on the east side of the house so they get the afternoon shade. 
there's not a, you know, this is a thing that if you were saying in some places it would say full sun, but this, they get plenty of sun right here. And, and we're reflected light supplements and, that. It's not as bright, but uh, they're looking like they're doing really well. Survived the winter here very well. And you've got a good collection. You've got room for some more. You'll probably bring some more in, some basil and things like I'll that. I'll bring some more in. I've also got my fig trees that I start from cuttings that uh -huh. I start here the same way. So in addition to the herbs, you've got your small tree nursery here. That's correct. Okay, well, Joe, there's a lot of interesting things here, things people can do. We need to encourage people to try things like this. So at home, try the herbs. See what you can grow. Thank you, Joe. Thanks, Chris.